Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Design Creativity and Technology Channel. My name's Aaron. I've got a special surprise for you today. Um, what some of you don't know is that Autodesk uh, Fusion 360 manufacturing team, so that's Al Watmouth and his team are working tirelessly uh, trying to bring in some new CAM uh, tool pass for Fusion 360, for advanced Fusion 360 uh, manufacturing users. Now, one of these uh, features I'd like to talk to you about today is called the whole recognition feature. Now, it's not available uh, to the masses at the moment. It's still in its testing phase. And uh, I was invited as part of the whitelisted community to, uh, to test it and trial it out. And uh, so I just wanted to bring it to the camera today to show you. I'm, I'm super excited about it, guys. Um, as you know, I'm a bit of an Autodesk groupie, uh, a Fusion 360 evangelist, and I just absolutely love the stuff. Now, the reason I love this is because only about four to five years ago, I was stuck in 2D cam world. Okay, I did not have a 3D cam solution uh, until, of course, I found out about HSM Works, and then, of course, it flowed into Fusion, and that's where I am today. Now, here's the part that I created for you today. Um, I'll bring that up closer on screen in a minute for you. Uh, what I liked about the whole recognition feature was that it, it, uh, it sped up my workflow. It, it made uh, canning this model much quicker because I didn't have to worry about any of these holes. Uh, Fusion went straight away, selected all those holes, determined what they were, you know, were they a counter bore, were they deep drilled, were they threaded. It would automatically write tool paths for that, such as a spot drill, deep drilling, tapping, or counter boring. Okay? So how about this? How about we jump over onto the computer? I'll give you a quick look at it. And then we'll flick over to the Sile CNC machine and we'll actually show you this uh, cutting the part out and let me know what you think. Okay, so I've got a Fusion 360 open and you can see that I'm in the manufacturing environment. Um, if I go back to my design environment, you can see that I'm in the new current user interface for Fusion. Uh, not that that matters for the manufacturing environment. Um, you can see I've done my setup. Here's the actual footage, the tool pass for the footage, the whole recognition. Um, what I've done, I've duplicated that and deleted the the drilling operations, and it lives up in here, whole recognition. Now, you won't have this unless you've been invited to. So let's have a crack at this. Okay, here we go. Drilling, whole recognition. Now, you can see Fusion's automatically detected that there's those group three groups of holes there. So the first one here, I'm gonna tell it that I want it to spot drill, drill tap, and I'm gonna change that to an M6 by one. The second hole, I'm gonna ignore that because I've already done that tool path. But the third one here, I'm gonna pick spot drill, drill counter bore, and click OK and watch the magic happen. And you'll see it's uh, populating down the bottom right hand corner and writing those tool paths. And there we have it. So there was one tool that it wouldn't find, but uh, I admitted that, I deleted that in my setup up here. So let's go back through here and unsuppress that, and I'll just show you how it worked for me, and you can follow along in the video in a second, and I'll expand that for you. And let's just simulate that. I'll bring it back over here into the middle. Let's turn my stock on. I might just turn the tool pass off and click play, and here we go. So we've got a facing operation. We've got a 2D adaptive. We'll come in there and do a contour cleanup. Boring cycle in the middle. And in come our whole recognition tool pass now, the spot drill. So it will spot drill all those holes. Then we'll come in and uh, peck drill out the other holes to size. Or we'll come down also and drill out those counter bores. It will bore out that size. And here we go, and thread those other holes. Last but not least, come in and do a 2D chamfer and uh, break the burrs on all those parts. Okay, so with that said, let's uh, pop on over to the sole machine and uh, watch it in action.
So, ladies and gentlemen, what did you think of that? Uh, is that freaking awesome or what? I, I absolutely love this program. It, uh, it never ceases to amaze me. And I just want to say a special thank you to the uh, manufacturing cam team. Uh, well done, guys. You guys are working flat out trying to bring this together. And uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to partake in the whitelisted community group. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's video. Uh, I really appreciate you following along and uh, happy to see you next time. Thank you.